Hi, Scott Grove here from Imagine Grove. Am I a cheater? Or am I just smart and like to make money? Hey, then. I'm using ShopBot's HandyBot to cut my um, bow tie butterfly inlays. We've all seen these. They're butterflies or bow ties. They're used to uh, prevent uh, hardwood uh, from expanding if there's a crack and that crack may continue to move. So you install a butterfly perpendicular to the crack. And that's a nice, uh, really nice detail. And a lot of people associate that with handwork. Um, so this is where I become smart and like to make money. I'm using HandyBot's ShopBot. It has an open bottom, so I can move this machine around. It's a CNC machine, and it's going to cut my pocket for me. In addition, I'm using it to cut my bow ties. The key here is that if I use a CNC, the um, outside corners are always going to be radius. They're going to be the same radius as the diameter of the cutter. In this case, it's a quarter inch. So I'm going to go back in and use a chisel and sharpen those corners back up and drop them in. Drop them in so no one will be the wiser so am i a cheater um and this is an ethical question for woodworkers uh this is just smart as far as i'm concerned i need to get these things done i could spend all day hand cutting these out and using a router and what have you or i can set this thing on press the button walk away i'm going to work on another job and uh, it's going to cut this pocket for me and i'll have very minimal hand work so for me um I don't want to deceive my clients, so I'm going to let my clients know that this is the unit and this is how they were done. So people don't assume that it's cut by hand. Woodworkers historically are known for handwork, right? And um, if I don't say anything, people are going to assume that everything I've done is has been done by hand or you know granted there's a table saw but i'm still controlling the material with my hand and there's human error and i can make mistakes now, these things are very precise and uh very fast and uh very productive so uh is it our responsibility to inform the general public that this technology is now available and by default they should not assume that something is done by hand and I'm very passionate about this. I gave a TEDx talk back in, I don't know, I'll put a link down below to that TEDx talk on this um, subject. And I'm going to be giving uh, another talk on this out in Yuma. Oh, February something. I don't know the dates yet. I do know the dates. They're just on my head. Uh, I'll post that link down there. So if you'd like to come uh, hear this provocative talk, I'll be giving a talk on my uh, sort of life story covering uh, how you can find your voice in design in the crafts. Uh, mine is Inner Beauty, Discovering Inner Beauty. And then at the very end, uh, I'm the closer of this big symposium. I'm going to be giving this talk on um, technology and craftsmanship. Are we losing touch? So I uh, hope you enjoy that. Let me know if I'm a cheater or if I'm just smart. And um, We'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching, and please be sure to subscribe to my channels. It helps me kind of maintain and, you know, support these, uh, these efforts that I'm doing to help uh, share what I know or don't know. Okay, bye-bye.